Hello, agents. In this video training, we will being this we will discuss the open enrollment period. As you know, the open enrollment period is new to 2019. The title is Navigating, Navigating Sales and Marketing During the New OEP. So let's get started. The open enrollment period is January 1st to March 31st. The federal government has eliminated the existing Medicare Advantage enrollment period and replaced it with a new Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. The new OEP allows individuals enrolled in an MA or MAPD plan, individuals newly eligible for uh, newly eligible individuals to make a one-time election to go to another Medicare Advantage or Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan or to go back to original Medicare. Who can make a change? Enrollees in a Medicare Advantage or Medicare Advantage plan only. So if you're an original Medicare, you, you cannot make a change. Or if you're newly eligible, then you can make a change. Continuing on to page two. So making changes during OEP. What changes are allowed? You may go from a Medicare Advantage to another Medicare Advantage only. Remember, Medicare Advantage only means no prescription drugs. Medicare only to a Medicare Advantage with prescription drugs. MAPD to MA only. So you can go from one with prescriptions to one without prescriptions. You can go from M MAPD to another MAPD. You can go from an MA only or an MAPD, either or with or without prescriptions, back to original Medicare with or without a prescription drug plan. So you can go back to original Medicare and take a PDP or not. What changes are not allowed during this time? Okay. Switching from original Medicare. So you cannot switch from original Medicare. If you only have original Medicare, you cannot make a change. Addition to Part D to original Medicare. So if you don't have Part D and you haven't, if you don't have it yet during this open enrollment period, you cannot add it. Standalone prescription to a different standalone prescription. So you cannot go from a, let's say, a Humana Part D to a Medi to a United Healthcare Part D or to from Aetna to Cigna. You cannot make those kind of changes during the OEP. Now, as far as marketing goes, what marketing is allowed? Marketing during OEP, this is what's permitted. You may send marketing materials when beneficiaries ask you for it. At the beneficiary's request, you can have one-on-one -on -one meetings. At the beneficiary's request, you can provide information about the OEP. You may market to agents, duels, and diabetics and LIS beneficiaries, you may market to them. Stay in touch with existing customers. This is one of the biggest things that people are afraid of, agents are afraid of. Can I call people that I know? Yes, you may, because if they're in your book of business, you may call them. You are not permitted though, you, are not, you cannot send unsolicited materials, advertising, or referencing the OEP opportunity. You cannot specifically target beneficiaries who are in the OEP by purchasing mailing lists or other means of identification. You cannot engage or promote activities that intend to target OEP for further sales, calling or otherwise contacting former enrollees who have selected a new plan during OEP. Those are the things that you cannot do. I hope you found this information easy and quick to understand, easy to understand. The open enrollment period is new, and hopefully it's something that's not going away soon. Thank you very much. Have a great day.